Storm Team 10 Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanowich has been following this and, and uh, Jeff, as it moves up the coast, are you telling us that it's intensifying again? It did. It went up five miles per hour, but going from 110 to 115, it has gone from a Cat 2 back up to a Category 3 hurricane, which now makes it once again a major hurricane. We are dealing with rain from Dorian from the Outer Banks all the way south into Jacksonville. It is situated about 90 to 100 miles offshore of Brunswick, Georgia, as it continues its northerly motion. Again, latest from you, uh, from the National Hurricane Center showing winds up to 115, gusts up to 140 though. Winds are very strong in this and it is moving to the north at seven miles per hour. It is expected to come very close to making a landfall somewhere between say Charleston and Myrtle Beach, probably just staying offshore by around 10 to 15 miles and probably making a landfall anywhere between Cape Fear and Cape Lookout, perhaps the Outer Banks of North Carolina as we head into late tomorrow afternoon or early tomorrow evening. So this thing could make landfall anywhere between the North Carolina and South Carolina border and the Outer Banks as we head into late tomorrow. And, and then it's going to push its way farther up into the maritime provinces of Canada as we head into Saturday evening. Now we're talking a lot about landfall, but regardless if this thing makes landfall or not, it is going to be a very dangerous situation for the coastal Carolinas as they're going to have anywhere from a five to 10 foot storm surge. They're going to pick up several inches of rain and they're going to deal with a lot of wind. Obviously, we do have hurricane warnings in effect uh, from the North Carolina, Virginia border south into the South Carolina, Georgia border. This does include Charleston, Myrtle Beach, Wilmington and all the Outer Banks. I will tell you also that Virginia Beach has been and continues to be in a tropical storm warning. We're looking at picking up a lot of rain out of this thing, especially the farther east you go. Makes sense. 8 to 14 inches of rain possible in Charleston, 4 to 8 in Wilmington, 4 to 8 inches of rain possible in Virginia Beach. Those numbers then go down significantly the farther west you go, i.e. the farther you get from the center of the storm. But it's going to be a very dangerous situation for about the next 36 hours or so for the coastal sections of North and South Carolina.